In the world of modern warships lies the formidable saga of naval supremacy. Wide seas are now dominated by massive vessels, each proof of a nation's technological prowess and military might. However, it's more than just the sheer size as shipbuilding reaches unprecedented heights. Now we consider the advanced technologies, cutting-edge materials, and enhanced weaponry assembled to boost the survivability of these maritime marvels, enabling them to conquer diverse missions. How far can we go with these advancements? Join us as we navigate the world's most dangerous warship recently announced by England. Izumo-class destroyers. The Izumo-class destroyers, currently serving in the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force as helicopter destroyers, were officially designated as Helicopter Carrying Destroyers, DDH. Acknowledged by the United States Naval Institute and alternatively described as helicopter carriers by Jane's fighting ships, they hold the position of the largest surface combatants in the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, succeeding the Hyuga-class helicopter destroyers. The development of these destroyers was announced by the Japanese Ministry of Defense on November 23, 2009, with a primary focus on anti-submarine warfare, complemented by roles in peacekeeping and disaster relief operations. The Izumo class has a versatile aircraft complement, accommodating up to 28 aircraft. While initially configured with seven anti-submarine warfare helicopters and two search and rescue helicopters, the vessels can also carry 400 troops and 53.5-ton trucks or equivalent equipment. The flight deck, featuring five helicopter landing spots, enables simultaneous landings or takeoffs. Defensive capabilities include two Phalanx close-in weapon systems and two rolling airframe missile systems. Originally intended to replace the decommissioned Shirane-class ships in fiscal year 2014, the Izumo-class destroyers were envisioned as key assets for the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. Notably, in 2010, Forecast International reported potential support for fixed-wing aircraft, such as the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey and Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. However, the absence of features like a ski jump or catapult suggested a focus on helicopters. On August 6, 2013, J.S. Izumo was unveiled, emphasizing its primary mission of anti-submarine warfare border area surveillance, and support for peacekeeping and disaster relief operations. Its resemblance to an aircraft carrier sparked global attention and speculation about its potential use for launching fighter jets. In December 2017, reports surfaced about Japan's consideration to modify the Izumo class for F-35B operations, drawing criticism from China. Japan, in February 2018, announced plans to acquire 40 F-35Bs, leading to the conversion approval on December 18, 2018. The vessels were redesignated as multi-purpose operation destroyers. JS Izumo initiated the conversion process in 2020, focusing on strengthening the deck's heat resistance and installing power supply equipment for F-35B operations. A more extensive renovation, including changing the bow shape, was scheduled for the end of 2024. On October 3, 2021, two U.S. Marine Corps F-35Bs made historic vertical landings and horizontal takeoffs from J.S. Izumo. On September 13, 2023, during initial modification, J.S. Kega embarked on a test voyage, revealing its carrier-used appearance with a rectangular bow shape and deck markings for aircraft operations, marking a significant step in Japan's pursuit of enhanced air defense capabilities. The lead ship's construction began in 2011 at an IHI Marine United shipyard in Yokohama, with a budget totaling $1.5 billion allocated in the fiscal 2010 budget, representing a significant investment in enhancing Japan's maritime and anti-submarine warfare capabilities. Russian battlecruiser Pyotr Veliki Pyotr Veliki, translated as Peter the Great, stands as the fourth Kirov-class battlecruiser in the Russian Navy. Originally named Yuri Andropov after the former General Secretary of the Communist Party, the ship underwent a name change after the Soviet Union's collapse. 
designated as heavy nuclear missile cruisers by Russia and often referred to as battle cruisers by Western defense commentators, these vessels are recognized as the largest surface warships designed for the line of battle. As the flagship of the Northern Fleet, Pyotr Veliki plays a pivotal role in Russia's naval operations. Delays in the construction of the battle cruiser were experienced due to funding shortages amid national economic challenges before and after the Soviet Union's dissolution. Despite starting construction 12 years earlier, Pyotr Veliki was not completed and commissioned until 1998. The renaming of the ship to Pyotr Veliki pays homage to Peter the Great, a significant figure in Russian history. Throughout its service, Pyotr Veliki has been identified by two pennant numbers, 183 and currently 099, underscoring its significant role as a formidable asset in the Russian Navy. The Russian Navy has four 1144 nuclear-powered cruisers of Project Orlin, with the Peter the Great cruiser being the main one currently in service, measuring 823 feet in length. While the other three cruisers are currently not in service, Admiral Nakimov is undergoing repairs and modernization with plans for sea testing in 2023. Pyotr Veliki's primary combat mission is the destruction of enemy aircraft carrier ships with a crew of 1035 personnel and formidable armament, including 600 missiles. The cruiser is powered by two KN-3 type nuclear reactors producing 300 megawatts each and two 70,000 horsepower turbines, four power plants, four steam turbine generators, and four gas turbine generators. Shifting to LHD WASP-class amphibious assault ships of the USA, designed for the landing of American troops into enemy territory, a total of eight ships of this type were built, with seven in operation from 1989 to the present. The Bonhomme Richard LHD-6 ship experienced a fire on July 12, 2020, leading to significant damage to 11 of the 14 decks. In December 2020, it was officially announced that there were no plans to restore the ship due to the estimated cost of $2.5 to $3.2 billion and a repair duration of five to seven years. The Wasp has a length of 843 feet and is capable of carrying about 2,000 naval militaries and around 40 ships with military air characteristics. These amphibious assault ships, at various times, have served as formidable weapons of war, leaving an indelible mark in world history. America-class amphibious assault ship, USA. The America-class, formerly known as the LHAR-class, constitutes a ship class of LHA amphibious assault ships within the United States Navy. Commissioned in 2014, these vessels are designed to deploy marine expeditionary units using helicopters, MV-22B Osprey short takeoff and landing transport aircraft, and are supported by AV-8B Harrier II or F-35 Lightning II short takeoff and landing aircraft, along with various attack helicopters. Intended to replace the USS Paliliu of the Tarawa class, the America class, with up to 11 planned ships, is based on the USS Macon Island design but omits well decks, allocating more space for aviation purposes. Despite focusing on helicopters and vs 2 l aircraft, these ships, boasting a displacement of about 45,000 long tons, rival the size of the French Charles de Gaulle and the Indian Vikramaditya fixed-wing aircraft carriers. While shorter than the former U.S. Navy Midway-class carriers, they share a comparable displacement. Functioning as small aircraft carriers, America-class ships can accommodate around 20 to 25 AV-8B or F-35B aircraft, or a combination of both. Future ships, starting with USS Bougainville, LHA-8, will feature smaller aircraft hangars to create space for larger amphibious warfare well decks. Employing a hybrid electric system, Codlog derived from USS Macon Island, the America-class ships utilize gas turbines for high speeds and diesel-electric engines when required, simplifying fuel storage and distribution. The typical aircraft complement includes MV-22B Osprey transports, F-35B Lightning II Sto-VL multi-role jet aircraft, 
CH-53K heavy transport helicopters, AH-1Z, UH-1Y attack or utility helicopters, and Navy MH-60S Nighthawks for air-sea rescue. To address anti-ship missile threats, the U.S. Marine Corps aims to keep amphibious ships farther offshore. The American class, with twice the displacement of the retired Iwo Jima-class amphibious assault ships, accommodates larger and longer-range MV-22 VSTOL aircraft. The LHX was a late 1990s proposal to replace the Tarawa-class amphibious assault ships, evolving into the amphibious assault ship future replacement concept, potentially featuring a good deck and a smaller island superstructure. In 2014, modifications on USS America were initiated to reduce damage from excessive heat produced by the F-35B and MV-22, aiming to extend the flight deck's life. The U.S. Navy is implementing cost-effective solutions to maintain combat effectiveness, with lessons learned applied to future ships in the America class. São Paulo Clemenceau Class Aircraft Carrier The NAE São Paulo, a 12, originally commissioned as the FUG, was a Clemenceau class aircraft carrier that served in the Brazilian Navy. Acquired in 2000, it became the flagship of the Brazilian Navy. However, its operational capabilities were hampered by frequent serviceability issues, leading to challenges during its service. In 2017, the Brazilian Navy announced the demobilization and decommissioning of Sao Paulo. On March 12, 2021, the carrier was sold for scrapping. Turkey rejected permission to dock, prompting the Brazilian Navy to scuttle the ship in the Atlantic Ocean on February 3, 2023, off the Brazilian coast in deep water. Between 2005 and 2010, Sao Paulo underwent extensive modernization, including the inspection and repair of steam turbines, maintenance of surface condensers, retubing of boilers, and various upgrades. Despite these efforts, the carrier faced ongoing challenges that limited its operational effectiveness. As part of the modernization program, 12 Brazilian Navy A-4 Skyhawks underwent upgrades by Embraer, enhancing avionics, radar systems, ELTA 2032 radar, power production, and autonomous oxygen generating systems. The upgraded aircraft were also equipped with new weapons, such as MAA-1B, Python-4, and Derby AAMs. Marsh Aviation was contracted to convert four S2T turbo trackers for airborne early warning rolls and four for tanking and carrier onboard delivery duties. Additional airframes, including ex-Australian and ex-Uruguayan C1 Trader airframes, were purchased for conversion into AEW planes and tanker aircraft. The SH-3 helicopter fleet in Sao Paulo was intended to be replaced by six S-70B Seahawk helicopters, purchased in 2008, upgraded and refurbished for delivery in 2009. Despite efforts, ongoing challenges persisted, leading to the eventual decommissioning and scuttling of Sao Paulo in 2023. It was a formidable combat unit with a capacity to carry up to 40 aircraft, including 15 French Super Etendard carrier-based attack aircraft. The aircraft carrier measured 869 feet in length, 167 feet in width, and had a total displacement of 32,780 tons, with a crew of 1338 people. Charles de Gaulle Nuclear-Powered Aircraft Carrier, France Commissioned in 2001, Charles de Gaulle serves as the flagship of the French Navy and stands as the first French nuclear-powered surface vessel. Named in honor of French President and General Charles de Gaulle, it is the sole nuclear-powered carrier completed outside the United States Navy. Equipped with a complement of Dassault Rafale M and E-2C Hawkeye aircraft, AS-365 F. Dauphin Pedro, EC-725 Caracal, and as 532 Cougar helicopters, the carrier supports various missions, including combat search and rescue. It operates as a catabar-type carrier with two 246-foot C-133 steam catapults, akin to those on the U.S. Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. Notable challenges arose during sea trials in 1999, 
prompting the extension of the flight deck for E-2C Hawkeye operations. Despite negative publicity, the extension was a relatively small part of the total project budget. Sea trials faced difficulties, including a combustion incident during a nuclear reactor trial in 2000 and a broken propeller in the final sea trial later that year. From 2005 to 2010, Charles de Gaulle underwent extensive modernization, addressing issues and upgrading systems. The overhaul included the installation of new propellers, aircraft maintenance upgrades, and enhanced weapons stores. The carrier's major refueling and improvements began in September 2007, concluding in December 2008. Additional repairs were made in Toulon in March 2009. In October 2010, an electrical fault truncated a four-month cruise. A subsequent 18-month midlife upgrade and refit initiated in February 2017 encompassed nuclear reactor refueling, standard maintenance, and combat system modernization. Charles de Gaulle returned to service in September 2018 after completing the upgrade. As the only nuclear aircraft carrier in the French naval forces, Charles de Gaulle accommodates up to 40 aircraft, predominantly Rafale M fighters. With dimensions of 857 feet in length and 211 feet in width, it has a total displacement of 42,000 tons. The crew comprises 1,200 people. While its combat potential is surpassed by larger American carriers, Charles de Gaulle has demonstrated combat effectiveness on numerous occasions. Heavy aircraft carrying cruisers, Project 1143, Russia. The Kiev class, designated Project 1143 Kreshyet by the Soviets, stands as the first class of fixed-wing aircraft carriers, known as heavy aviation cruisers, constructed in the Soviet Union for the Soviet Navy. Beginning with the lead ship Kiev, laid down in 1970, these carriers were developed from the Project Oral Design, initially conceived as a full-deck carrier but ultimately chosen for perceived cost-effectiveness. These carriers boast distinctive features, including a large island superstructure to starboard and an angled flight deck covering two-thirds of the total deck length. Armed with heavy surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface missile armaments on the foredeck, allowing them to navigate the Turkish Straits in line with the Montreux Convention. The Kiev class aimed to support strategic missile submarines, surface ships, and naval aviation, engaging in anti-aircraft, anti-submarine, and surface warfare. The Soviet Union constructed four carriers in total, with the first two sold to China and repurposed as museums. The third was scrapped, and the fourth, Admiral Gorshkov, was sold to the Indian Navy in 2004. Following significant modifications, it now serves as INS Vikramaditya. Key specifications for the Kiev-class carriers include a power plant with eight turbo-pressurized boilers, four steam turbines, and four shafts. The carriers have an overall length of 896 feet or 928 feet for the Baku subgroup. The flight deck is 174 feet wide and the beam is 107 feet. Displacement ranges from 43,000 to 45,500 metric tons at full load, and they can achieve a speed of 32 knots. The air wing can comprise 2630 aircraft, including Yak-38 short takeoff and landing, and Ka-25 or Ka-27 or 29 helicopters. Crew capacity ranges from 1,200 to 1,600. Armament configurations vary, but include missile launchers, SAM launchers, AA guns, CIWs, torpedo tubes, and anti-submarine rocket launchers. The Kiev class was commissioned in 1975 with the lead ship, Kiev. The subsequent development of the class, such as Admiral Kuznetsov and others, diversified the capabilities and fates of these aircraft-carrying cruisers. Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, USA. The Nimitz class, comprising 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers in service with the United States Navy, stands as a pinnacle of naval power. Named after Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, these carriers are the largest and most powerful warships currently in operation. The lead ship, USS Nimitz, 
was commissioned on May 3, 1975, and the final ship, USS George H.W. Bush, joined the fleet on January 10, 2009. Key features of the Nimitz class include an overall length of 1,092 feet, a full load displacement exceeding 100,000 long tons, and two A4W pressurized water reactors that provide nuclear propulsion. With a maximum speed of over 30 knots and a maximum power of approximately 260,000 shaft horsepower, these carriers can operate continuously for over 20 years without refueling, contributing to a service life of more than 50 years. Constructed by Newport News Shipbuilding Company in Virginia, the Nimitz-class carriers have participated in various conflicts, showcasing their prowess in operations such as Operation Eagle Claw, the Gulf War, and engagements in Iraq and Afghanistan. The carriers employ a catapult-assisted takeoff barrier arrested recovery arrangement on angled flight decks, featuring steam catapults and arrestor wires for aircraft operations. This design allows faster launching and recovery, accommodating a diverse air wing that typically includes around 64 aircraft. Primary strike fighters include F-A-18E and F-A-18F Super Hornets. With a unit cost of approximately 8.5 billion US dollars in FY 2012 dollars, the Nimitz class carriers exhibit variations among individual ships, but share nominal complements of 3,000 to 3,200 crew members, 1,500 in the air wing, and 500 in other roles. Powered by two A4W nuclear reactors, the carriers are armed with short-range defensive weapons like RIM-7 Sea Sparrow or RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missile launchers and Phalanx Close-In Weapon System. The presence of nuclear weapons on board is neither confirmed nor denied by the U.S. government. Operating within a carrier strike group, the Nimitz-class carriers are accompanied by other warships for protection against potential threats, including submarines. Design differences are addressed through modifications and upgrades during refueling and complex overhauls to ensure that older carriers meet the standards of the later ones. As powerful and versatile assets, the Nimitz-class carriers have played a crucial role in U.S. Navy operations for over four decades, exemplifying naval strength and capabilities on a global scale. The Nimitz-class is gradually being succeeded by newer carriers, such as the Gerald R. Ford-class, maintaining the U.S. Navy's dominance in naval aviation. The UXV Combatant The UXV Combatant, conceptualized by BVT Surface Fleet, now BA Systems Maritime Naval Ship, represents a cutting-edge unmanned aerial vehicle carrier designed to revolutionize naval capabilities. Unveiled in 2007, this futuristic warship is tailored to launch, operate, and recover a multitude of small unmanned vehicles for extended durations, acting as a mothership with a permanent base and control center for various unmanned land, sea, and air vehicles. Incorporating design elements from the Type 45 destroyer and the interdiction assault ship concept, the UXV combatant boasts two angled flight decks arranged in a V-shape, each measuring approximately 164 feet in length. These flight decks are strategically designed for launching unmanned aerial vehicles, VS-2L aircraft, and helicopters. The warship is anticipated to use advanced launch systems such as the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System or a Sky Jump to deploy aircraft. The UXV combatant's versatility extends to underwater operations with the ability to launch unmanned underwater vehicles through a moon pool. It is also capable of serving as an assault ship accommodating a substantial number of troops and their equipment. For naval gunfire support, the warship is armed with a 155mm cannon capable of firing rapid bursts of up to 20 rounds, and it features a vertical launching system. Specifically designed to address the challenges posed by asymmetric warfare, the UXV combatant excels in deploying assault troops or special forces ashore, providing essential firepower support. This includes utilizing a 155mm gun, launching land attack cruise missiles from its vertical launching system, and deploying a fleet of unmanned combat aerial vehicles. In addition to its offensive capabilities, the UXV combatant is equipped for reconnaissance missions, 
featuring powerful shipborne sensors and unmanned aerial vehicles. The warship is designed to operate both independently and as an escort, showcasing adaptability and flexibility to meet a wide range of mission requirements. BA Systems envisions the UXV combatant as a transformative naval asset, representing the future of naval warfare, with its innovative design tailored to the capabilities of unmanned systems. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to watch another of our interesting videos. See you there.